starts uh, you know, in, a, in, a, in an environment like that. Um, you know, it was it was good to see that. You know, and I think I think for a bunch of young guys getting their first start in a hostile environment, um, you know, we, we showed some things that that, that we can grow from. You know, so I'm pleased in that, that aspect. I've coached for a long time, obviously the the Lions. Have you ever played four freshmen as much as you have this season? Never. <laughs> Never. What's, it, what's uh, it like coaching so many young guys? I, I love it. These kids are hungry. They're like sponges. Uh, they want to get better. Um, they're dedicated. Uh, you know, they're, they're they're wearing out the, the film room. Um, you know, they're, they're they're a great group to work with. And we have good upperclassmen too that are that are understanding their roles and, and helping these guys out. So th this is a a lot of a group. This group's a lot of fun to be with. Right? Now that Jim Levitt has upperclassmen on, on their defense, you've seen the dramatic movement. Very dramatic, right? Yeah, very dramatic. They're, they are so much better. And we've been playing against some of these guys for, for you know going on four years now. Obviously, they're physically much better. Um, they understand their scheme the second year in this system. Uh, I'm very impressed. I mean, Michigan, <clears throat> Michigan had a hard time running the ball, um, doing anything. And uh, so they, they're, yeah. This is not, this is not the old Colorado team that, that we're you know, used to seeing for the last six, seven years. This is a, this is a team that, that's going to come in here believing they can win, and, and we're going to, it's going to be a dogfight. You guys, probably going to help you keep in line every day. Great Carlberg and the guys who seems to find a way to rotation. When you're not sure against your guys, you know what? Is doing against you guys. There's something about the that jumps out. Well, I think, uh, hey, Drayton's, I'd love to have Drayton on my side of the ball, you know. But, I uh, he was a pretty good either way, right? Uh, but uh, no, I mean, I think Drayton A is a heady player, he's a smart player. Um, I think his technique has just gotten better and better and better. I think he uses his hands very well, um, probably as well as anybody inside of our tackles. Uses his hands, you know, sheds, and uh, gets to the ball. So, uh, you know, I, I, I've seen him improve and improve and improve. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad he's getting the opportunity. Was there any uh, time where you thought maybe you can pull more of the O line when you recruited? I keep trying, man. I keep oh. trying. You know, I'll bring him cookies every day and you know, whatever it takes, man. I'll, I'll keep working it, keep recruiting it. Are you guys blocking different for Dakota than, than you were for Vernon Adams last year? No, no. Our protection schemes are, are, are pretty much the same. We haven't changed much in that regard. Um, you know, there are, you know, we may do some more movement stuff, you know, with Dakota. I think he's he's pretty good on the move, you know, roll out and stuff like that, moving the pocket. But our, no, we haven't added any new protections uh, with with the change of quarterback. How happy were you with the protection for Dakota against Nebraska? It seems like he uh, didn't have a lot of time in the pocket. You know, it was uh, we had some issues just communication-wise in our in in third down in their, in their nickel package and. You know, when we were on the mark with it, uh, protection was pretty good. Um, obviously, you want to stay out of those situations, you know. Um, but uh, we, again, and it's, it's, it's communication between the quarterbacks, the line, and the running backs as far as what we're doing. Um, and we didn't handle that as well. That, there, there's one thing that, that I'm disappointed with in the game. It was just our lack of communication and getting everybody on the same page in those nickel situations where they're throwing some, you know, some some tough looks at us, but looks that we should have been able to handle better. How do you try to make that correction then? Uh, we just got to keep working through it. You know, we got to keep working through our, our hand signals and, and making sure that get re gets relayed back to the quarterback and he in turn gets it to the running back on how we're, you know, how we're adjusting my guys to pick up, you know, what we perceive as the, the five guys that, that we're going to handle and let the running back have the other, you know, one or two. How have you seen your guys respond after the loss of Nebraska? I know a lot of guys were relating it to the Michigan State class last year. It was hard, you know. It was hard. The, the kids, the kids battled. And, you know, they put their heart and soul into it. Um, you know, it's a game that, uh, it's a game that, that, from what I've told them, the only the only people we can look to is ourselves. You know, we rushed for over 300 yards. We didn't have a turnover. You know, history says you should win those games, but and yet we didn't. Um, and, and obviously, our our, our our penalties and our own, you know, uh, mistakes uh, cost us that. And, you know, I firmly believe that. You know, we have really no one to blame but ourselves for, for this loss. And, and so, you know, we, we need to become a more disciplined uh, football team. Um, and that, that starts from the coaching staff, all right, instilling that in our players, and then obviously the players putting in practice. I would imagine that losses feel different, maybe. Some some losses hurt more than others. Is that, is that true? Does this loss feel different than maybe the Michigan State loss or a, a bowl loss, for example? 
No, they all hurt, you know. Um, they all sting. You, you know, you, you put so much into it and you see the kids compete, you want to have, you want to see them have uh, the success. Um, but, you know, life isn't defined by, by one football game and one loss. And so what we do from now on moving forward, um, that's all we have to focus on, you know. And we just got to keep our heads down and keep on swinging and then look up when it's all over and see where we're at. And that's kind of the, the I know that's the, the, the tactic I'm taking with my group. And, uh, you know, let's go. Let's just see what happens here. Keep on swinging, man. You mentioned again, that's communication on your line. Was that part